So this is actually one of my most like favorite things that VS Code does. Let's imagine I want to highlight and click on several places at once so I can edit the text. And what I can do is I can actually go ahead and click over here, hold option and click over here. Now you can see I've got two cursors and I can actually go ahead and edit the text in two places. And there's also a shortcut for this, but you just got to be careful in this case, for example, where we've got button, button, button. So if I press Command D, you can see it actually goes ahead and highlights over the same bits of text multiple times. So we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Styles, I'm going to go to Class Name, and you can see now, if I go ahead and press Command D, 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 now you can see I've got access to all of them. I go ahead and I press right, I press option, just jump to the next word. And now if I press option shift and I go all the way back to class, I can just delete all the class names nicely. Oh, nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I, can. I just, I can't. So I, uh, I built this Wordle clone in JavaScript with help from a guy named Rahul. Thanks, Rahul. And in the process, I figured out this really interesting use case for multiple cursors. Let me show it to you. So I found the Wordle word bank that comes from the source code. And what we need to do is copy this into an array so that we can use it in our project. But the problem is we need to quote these words and put commas to make it an array. So one way you can do that is select everything in the file and you'll notice, luckily enough, there's actually a space at the end of each word. So what we could do is select that space and then put a cursor on every one here. But it's actually a better way. Instead, what we can do is we can go ahead and select every word in this file, just like we did before, but we can do all shift I, which puts a cursor at the end. Then we just add our quotes and our comma, and then we can sort of control arrow our way back to the front and add a quote there. And then we just need to clean up this very last word here, remove this comma and we're done. Let's say you've got a project with some images, but you want to clean the project up some. So you take these two images and you put them in this images folder to do some housekeeping. But now you have a problem. And the problem is that the paths for all these images are broken in this document and there's no way to update them cleanly because they have different extensions. Where is there? Watch this. If you press Control F or Command F, you get the find box. You get a couple options. You can find by matching case, you can match the whole word, or this one right here is regular expression. You're thinking, I don't know regular expressions, but let me show you one easy to remember. You can find all JPEGs by just typing JPEG. And if you use the pipe, that's or, so it gets everything and you say PNG and look what you get. You get the PNG and you get the JPEG and watch this, watch this alt enter and you get a cursor at both places automatically. And now you can just press control to get to the front, type images and look, look, you've just updated it in all the places. Nice. Let's use multiple cursors in VS Code to turn this list of dependencies into one long NPM install statement. So first what you'll want to do is select the first quote and then press Control Shift L, which puts a cursor at every quote. And then you can just press backspace and they're gone. And I'll press escape, which gets me out of multiple cursor mode. And then what we can do is select this colon, add a cursor to every colon with Control Shift L, you've got it. And then put an at sign and then we want to remove the space after the package name, press escape. And then we want to remove these commas. So you've guessed it. Select the comma and that's right, Control Shift L and backspace to delete the commas. And then the last thing you want to do is get all of these things on the same line. So what you'll need to do is Control Alt and then down to put a cursor at the front of each line, then press backspace and then space. And then just escape puts this at the home and then type 